Okay, there you go. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Thank you guys. Thank you for holding up your signs. Thank you for showing support. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so welcome to the view from the other side of the table. If you are just tuning in, I guess this week and you weren't here last week, I'm Desi, um, AKA Desi Doll 7 at, um, on Twitter and Starseed Revolution on YouTube. And we have Callie here, who's returning from last week. And as always, we have Tracy. Um, and we have a special guest joining us today. <laughs> and we're so excited to have her. Yummy. Hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you introduce yourself to our audience, please? Uh, hi, I'm Yummy. <laughs> I um, recently just went through the class. So um, I'm a what, newbie. What I hope I can keep up with you guys. Yummy? What class is that? <laughs> it's Tracy's tarot class. And it's good if you guys want to do it. I don't know if you're even offering anymore. You know, it's a big class. So, you know, it's just a lot. So I think if the next time I do it, it's going to be in the fall. I'm thinking twice a year because it's such a big class. And it takes, yeah. right, Kelly? It takes so much to know everyone and feel their energy, which is why from the class, we go to the book club, which, by the way, did you guys get the book? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yummy>. <laughs> well, you know, full disclosure, I'm getting it on a Kindle, so it'll be instant when I get it. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Absolutely. Already it on Kindle. There is a digital version available for those of you all who are interested, who are not in the book club, but just want to read it. Um, Yummy, where can people find you on social media? Uh, you know what? I should have thought that through before you introduced me because all of my stuff is private. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find Yemi right here. <laughs> <laughs> when I reveal myself, you guys will find me, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all good. Okay. Yes. I love protective energy. Me too. Fantastic. I think we're all kind of like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of crazies out here. I understand. I get it. <laughs> I don't want to be found just yet. Yeah. <laughs> just yet. <I get> <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny All right. about that, Desi? Like, yeah. when I was uh, in church, I'm not in church now because uh -huh. of COVID, but I've always been in church. And mm -hmm. I used to do readings when I was like in y'all's age bracket. And uh, like, I lived a block from the church, and the church people never knew. I was not about to make an announcement. No, they never knew. I left Staten Island without the church people knowing. Because your privacy is everything until you're ready. Oh, you know, I would have probably shown up at your house and 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 for Bible for impromptu Bible studies. They would be doing this to me. Southern Baptist, and if you don't know Southern Baptist, you might as well be a Pentecostal, you might as well be, uh, I can't even tell you, I can't even compare other religions, like, it's, they're, they're Southern, a different type of Baptist. Southern Baptist Southern. is different. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So, and it was Southern Baptist in the city. <laughs> How does that work out? It doesn't, it absolutely doesn't. <laughs> So be glad you didn't let them know where you were because I had an I had an aunt uh, who was deep into the church and they would come they would do like these random the congregation like the, the pastor and the and like members of the congregation would would show up at her house randomly and they'd be like well 
Sister Deborah, we 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 see you got we see you got some new decorations. Have you um have you paid your tithe yet? Have, have you tithe yet? Why why you got these <laughs> why you got these pictures in your house? <laughs> they would come like assess her like like case her like her her apartment and they'd ask when she paid her tithes and stuff. So that's it. That's be it. Good. It's, it's Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> I used to have Jehovah's Witness come visit me. Oh, I still do it. I'm in Japan. <laughs> no, or like they beat the pizza man here and was like, "Hey, do you know the word of Jehovah?" And I was like, "Y'all are here in Japan? Yeah, in Japan. The Hall. Yes, the Kingdom Hall is right down the street from my house." <laughs> well, first of all, yeah. I think that's a beautiful thing. There's like there's Same. beauty in it, and it's like, ah, uh, I got it up. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I got Jesus, I but you. <laughs> yes, but they are like the IRS and the AARP. They will find you. They will find you. And that's, wait, don't insult me with the AARP because the AARP came after me. And I was like, how dare you? How dare you send me a letter? <laughs> but look, how did that? They came after her last week. She was like, listen, AARP is too much. It's too late. They've been after me since I was 25. Oh. <laughs> it was my gray actually just sprouted. It was just like, I mean, gray, <laughs> as soon as it fully came in like this, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, fine, I'll use it to my advantage. Give me the discounts. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like, oh, you're too young, then why are you sending it to me? <laughs> that is the best. No. Okay, so let's get to the topic. And I want to start with Azalea Banks and Dave Chappelle. And I have this pulled up because I, I don't feel like I can do the summary of Azalea Banks's rant justice. I need to quote her fully for you all to get the extent of the crazy that's going on. And I say that with love. I say that with love. Well, wait a second. Okay, so. Desi, Desi, you could be crazy and say it with love. You could just be crazy. Well, that's what I, uh, yes. (laughs) But I mean, I I guess I should, you have to experience the full, the full quote, the full weight of what she said. Okay, so. She took a break from from dragging Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj all up and down the twi- the timeline to drop sort of this bombshell that she has uh, had a I wouldn't call it a fling, but she has had a, a rolling hay with Dave Chappelle, and she quoted she's quoted as saying, and I'm gonna quote this, and so uh, eighteen plus please. Um, I have actually fucked a lot of fucking very powerful fucking men. And then she says, I should join your fucking marriage. I should tell the world that we fucked. And then she like, she kind of like pauses a little bit. And then she says, okay. She says, what am I keeping secrets for? I will summarize that. And she was like, no, Dave Chappelle can fuck me again. That was some good quote black. Okay. So. And that was on, what was she on, Twitter? No, she was on IG Live, I believe. Just letting it all hang out with Dave. Dave is married, for the record. Dave has children of internet age, for the record. So the fact that she would even go online and say these things, when Dave Chappelle pretty much bothers zero people. Right. He's out here minding his business. We would hope, except that maybe he's in right. her business. Right. Or well, she didn't give a timeline as to when this took place. Because that was my next question. Was it pre-marriage? Yeah. What was it? Well, it couldn't be, because she said, I should ruin your marriage. So it must have been. Ruin? Yeah. Ruin. Hmm. I have a hard time believing anything that's coming out of that girl's mouth. <laughs> it's like I, I do. Her fucking head. 
Uh, She's delusional. She goes after people for no fucking reason. Right. She imagines that she has beef with people that don't even fucking know her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, again, are minding their business. Yeah, right. like, she goes so far left to grab people that it's like, it's ridiculous. You just like, where the fuck this come <laughs> What? You back on the again? I we thought we buried you. She's one of those that need that, that Twitter accuracy check, that fact check. She needs may, to may not be true. She need that. <laughs> you need to put a warning on her stuff because <laughs> just, <laughs> it's really That's the best. Mm-hmm. I think in that same poll she went after Busta Rhymes too. Like I feel like she was yeah. just like th- throwing up on everyone. I mean like <laughs> what? <laughs> mess around. I think she did mess around with the wrong person and she had to back down. Uh Two years ago, I think you she fucked up. She went after the wrong person. Mm-hmm. I forgot who it was, but she had to back down. <laughs> but she won't fuck around with the wrong person again, and she gonna get got. Mm-hmm. She's going to get got. Remember when she was sacrificing chickens in the closet for her success? Yeah. Remember when that happened? Yeah. She, and she like had the nerve to take a picture of like all the blood and the feathers in the closet. Yeah, because she wants people to see that she one, she's crazy, and two, that she's practicing black magic. It's like it's like a a fair scare check. Yeah, like her company. Wait this is what I do. I okay. Hold what? on. Back up, because I walked away. For, <laughs> for some reason, I can't sit in my chair, so I walked away. From <laughs> Tell me about these damn chickens in a closet. Yeah, I didn't know about that either. What was he? Wait, what? Go ahead, Callie. <laughs> no, this is more than I do because I just I once I see Azalea Banks, I just tune out. I just feel like this bitch crazy. Well, I was done then. Um, she she had a series of posts on uh, I think this was on Twitter before she got kicked off of Twitter, where she was um she was showing like her altar and stuff and like how she was uh her like base where she was sacrificing animals and like specifically chickens to like and praying for success. No. <laughs> I wish I were. Oh my gosh. For her attention. For her to do it is for attention. Mm-hmm. Real people that do it, you would never know. Yeah. I, for her to do it, it's like, look, everybody, I'm going to scare you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh but my gosh, I just looked it up, and she even wore goggles. <laughs> There's a picture of her wearing goggles, sacrificing the chickens. I need to see this picture. Oh no. Can you send it to me, Yummy? Yeah. I need to see this. I need to see the level of crazy. Because I'm a poor thing. Let me say something about Azalea Banks. Because she is a Gemini, right? And I can just, I know people in the comments are going to be like, oh, that's just that Gemini. See, all Geminis are crazy. Let me say something about that. Okay. <laughs> first of all, we don't claim her. That's the first thing. <laughs> uh, we don't. She's a May Gemini, I believe, not a June Gemini. So I definitely don't claim her. Yeah, it's always a difference. Yes. I know that was <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there is a distinct and October Ubers. Yes, there's a distinct difference there. Let me tell for sure. you something. My son is a Libra, Callie, and he's a September Libra. And throughout the years, even as a baby, I was watching him. I was like, he doesn't act like a Libra. What is, what is happening? But at the time, I didn't know about charts. Girl, when I found okay. out about charts and realized. That boy had a lot of Virgo in him, and male Virgo. Oh my God! When he was the closer you to the cusp, the the the, the Virgo Libra Libra cusp, the more Virgo you have. I'm I'm a little ways away from him. I'm I'm the 29th of September, so full fledged Libra. But the motherfucking ones in October, they're fucking crazy. <laughs> they're a whole different breed of Libra. 
Let me tell you something. I know Libras in October, and I love them. I love them because, you know, they represent my son. Mm -hmm. They're crazy. And I love you all. Yeah. I love you all. But y'all, you know, there's a lot. It's, it's animation. A lot of animation coming from Libras. Yeah. Yeah, October Libras, not October. the September ones. October. Right. But let yeah. me tell you, they are the actors. When you ask, mm -hmm. like, if you take a poll, 50% will be a Libra. And... Talking about Gemini's, 50% mm -hmm. will be the writers in the entertainment field. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me say this also about Gemini's because, again, I can hear the audience. I already know where this is going when we talk about Azalea Bank. Whenever somebody crazy comes out, it's like, it may happen to be a Gemini. Everybody seizes on that moment to hate on us. And I'm going to say this and advocate for us because this is our season, right? Okay, so... Gemini rule, rules the head and the shoulders and the lungs and communication and the nervous system. And I think a lot of people, we get a bad rap because, because we do rule the nervous system. And it, and a lot of people have it, don't know what it's, it means to deal with a healthy Gemini. Yeah. We're dealing with unhealthy ones. And so when you're dealing with unhealthy Geminis, I mean, you can, you can get anything. They can literally be like 60 different people in one person, right? And so it's true. And so I think a lot of a lot of the Gem the Geminian hate is because you aren't dealing with healthy people. Geminian? Geminian? Is that? Geminian. I've never heard that before. Really? No. <laughs> yes. I feel like the Geminian hatred comes from people not dealing with healthy Geminis. And so Get a healthy Gemini in your life, and you will see how much you love us. That's all I have to say. But he's a brand, he brand new. He is <laughs> I, just sent, I just sent you the picture. Can you show it? Can you show it? Can you show it? Can you show it? Yes. Yes, I will. Hang on. Me. Okay, here she is. Sacrifice some chickens in the closet. Um. And I just wonder how much that's working out for her. Obviously not. It depends on what she's doing with it. Sacrificing chickens, they do it in Africa, they do it, it's not, it's not about that. It's what is she doing with it. And she's a right. dark girl. She has, like, I'm, revenge in her. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm about to say. I think she is using it to target specific people because I heard, I, I watched another reader who did something on Doja and Azalea Banks came up and it was like, oh, well, damn, uh, that shit that Azalea Banks did was against Doja. So she's using it to target people that come for her. Not sure. But like, hey. I mean, not the witchcraft, but why Why come for Dave? Right. I mean, he ain't bothering nobody. What did Dave do to anybody? <laughs> Dave is enjoying his money. He just makes laugh. Exactly. Right. Dave is out here minding his business, still running from the white Illuminati. Quiet as his kept. <laughs> Dave is out here minding his business. <laughs> And yet. <laughs> oh my God. Right, oh, there we go. Is that a room? Please God. This is a closet, I think. That's a filthy closet where she's burning chickens? Mm hmm. Gross. Were they alive? I'm pretty sure. She's a, well, she's a nasty little bitch. If that's the shit that she's doing, if that's the shit that she's doing, no one should mess with her. She's nasty. That's not magic, guys. That's dirty. And that is mental. Yeah, I, Allegedly, I, she needs to be on a psych ward. That is mental. If that's the shit that she's mm -hmm. doing, that's exactly right. So at best, we can just tell Dave Chappelle's wife to just not believe. <laughs> Yeah. Dave, Dave Chappelle, call me. I'll tell you what to do to protect yourself from crazy. <laughs> right. God, what an annoying... I can't believe she has... A, do you know, like, 
how crazy you have to be to have your closet look like that? Uh, yeah. And then to not even bother scraping it up. She said it was right. three years worth of sacrifice chicken. So it's three yeah. years worth of I've, sludge. I've never seen a witch that, that practices animal sacrificing or anything like that be that dirty. Mm-hmm. Right? Never. Like the stench that might be coming out of that closet. Right. Yeah. Like, how did anybody not smell that in her, like, in the general neighborhood? Like, I'm sure that was strong. But yeah, the I also have to tell you, the stench has to be coming from her, too. The one thing mm-hmm. I tell everyone is that when you do magic, especially when you do good magic, I tell everyone, do it on yourselves, right? Mm-hmm. You, by yourself. Because when you start to, it gets all over you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's dirty. I cannot believe that. Listen, when you go to Azalea Banks' house, don't eat nothing, don't drink nothing. <laughs> Don't use the bathroom. <laughs> just float in. Yeah, just float in. Nothing. Don't you know, anything. Who said don't yeah. go in? Did, who's Callie? Did you say just don't go in? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay, just float. Just float in there. Don't even touch the damn floor. Figure out how to float and levitate. Be like this. Mm-hmm. Ready mm-hmm. Now, guys, can we go? <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's, let's just put this out there. Every celebrity needs to stop dealing with her. If that's what yes. she's doing, people need to stop dealing with her. She's disgusting to me. And dangerous. Whew. All right, whatever. I'm disgusting and dangerous. Donald Trump is in the news. <laughs> when, he, when is he not? I know. Um, apparently he and, uh, Jack Dorsey, who is the Twitter CEO, got into it this week, uh, over, uh, protecting tweets or fact-checking tweets. And it started with him, I think, uh, with those tweets, uh, what is it, what is it? Once the looting starts, the shooting starts? Mm. And, uh, Twitter, the, uh, the good folks at Twitter decided that they had had enough and they fact-checked two of his tweets by protecting them. Um, and I guess he lost his mind over that. Um, and his supporters lost their minds over that, citing that it, they, that it was a violation of freedom of speech. And so I'm just curious as to what you guys think about the idea of fact-checking tweets. Why not just delete his account? Right. Hasn't he done enough already? They do need to delete his account. I do agree with fact checking because of um, on Facebook, you get a lot of people who post stuff mm-hmm. like, you know, de- de- uh, death of a celebrity and this, that, and other. Prime example, the great Ellie Mae and um, the Beverly Hillbillies. She's been dead for some years now, at least three or four. And somebody posted like she just fucking died yesterday. They do that all right. I don't check these people because I'm tired of it. Because I'm like, it makes you think like somebody Lena Horn, they did it again, they did it to her. They re brought her back up. And I'm looking like it's not even her anniversary of her death. They made it seem like she just fucking died. So I'm like, oh, poor, you know, rest in peace, Lena Horn, great, you know, great black artist, you know, trailblazer, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting up here like, checks back. Bitch, you know she died five years ago. <laughs> yeah, just saying. I think Zim that has died and come back to life at least seven times yes. on social media. Who did? Zim that. I think, has spoken about this and has said, I, I'm, yeah, I'm on Twitter and people are posting RIP and I'm like, I'm not dead. I'm here. What's happening? <laughs> And so his family gets disturbed every once in a while where they'll be like, oh my God. And he's like, no, I'm not dead. Because they're not, you know, they're seeing tweets and it's like, dad, I thought, you, like they have to find out, quote unquote, that their dad has died from social media, but he's he's alive and well. Well, my, exactly. my favorite is Betty White. Oh, yeah. I keep trying yes. to kill her. And then mm-hmm. what is it, Betty, Betty Bright? Who's the one that really died? Betty Bright. Betty Wright. Betty Wright died. And then I got all this information that was like, Tracy, Betty White died from Betty White died from the COVID. And I was like, 
No, she's not seeing anywhere. She, and she did come out and say, no, I'm alive. Yeah. She did. <laughs> okay. But yeah. here's the thing that makes me mad, right? Like, it's almost like this attitude, oh, you, how dare you fact check me, and all the people that supported him, instead of realizing, oh, yeah, he was wrong. Mm -hmm. No, like, people defend him. Yeah. And I think that's what's wrong, that people just take his word for it. What? I also think they're, they're sheep. They want to follow instead of doing their own research. Yeah. I also think that the fact that he stops the Russian bots and those types of machines that are, you know, those those are the algorithms that are that come up mm -hmm. um, that sort of post um, these these fake articles and I don't I I'm trying not to call it fake news because that's the term that he uses mm -hmm. but like yeah. mm -hmm. it kind of stops the bots too so I think I'm in support of it as well i don't understand what trump's issue is. well yeah i do understand what trump's issue is but i guess from a logical insane standpoint i don't understand what trump's issue is well he shouldn't have go ahead Kelly. he shouldn't have an issue mm -hmm. if, he, if he's actually speaking the truth he he we should support like okay if fact check me mm -hmm. Right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Be a be one. Be a be be a man. Be a bigger man. Right. I'm wrong. I admit it. Fact check me so I can prove that I'm right. Mm -hmm. He should he should want to do this so he can prove that he's right. And it's so not, that's not his man. A hundred percent of the time. Mm -hmm. And what I was going to say, I agree with you. It's not his mentality. He throws tantrums, and the people who follow him throw the same tantrums, like little boys. Yeah. Little boys with guns. That is what it is. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's, like, it's true. And it's almost like, you know, if it were anybody else, I guarantee you, Obama doesn't have an issue with the fact checking. Hillary doesn't have an issue with the fact checking. You know, they don't. And Biden doesn't have an issue with the fact checking. And now all of a sudden, it's a problem and it's a violation of your First Amendment, like your freedom of speech rights. Uh, but I don't know. Second. He started his campaign with full of lies. He started his campaign with Russian bots. That mm -hmm. if he said something, the bots would put it all over Facebook. Because I remember that time frame and I was like, what is happening? I couldn't understand the insults I kept getting, you know, in support of anything that he said. And at the time, I didn't understand how much he lied. I think the only thing that turned me off with him is when he made fun of that disabled person. That's the only thing that turned me off from him. And I was like, ah, something's wrong. But he started his campaign very cocky, very supportive, very, mm -hmm. you're, very you're so white. Mm -hmm. well, and he also started his campaign on that racist birther uh, hoax. And if that had been fact checked, who knows what might have happened? Because that was a whole lie about Obama not being born in the United States, right? That that's kind of what what jump started it was the birtherism, right? Actually, it was like actually. Yeah. That was before, that was way before he got into the game. It was when Obama was running the second time that he started this. I just love Obama so much. I'm like on it. He started this no, campaign at Obama's second run. And here's what I believe. Now, guys, go with me on this a little bit because I know I think a little crazy. I think they went to him. And I think they said, listen, dude, pull out for now. You'll have a much better chance to come back in. I'm sorry, guys. I even believe they said, we'll pay you to pull out. And I believe the Democrats had this conversation with him. And I believe the reason why they had this conversation with him is because they were laughing the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Listen, dude, we'll pay you to just pull out because no one noticed he just got quiet. He was like this. And the, the, the media was like, but, but Trump, but Trump. And he was like, yeah. And that then gave Obama the opportunity to prove his, his birth. 
Right. And he couldn't but say I feel like anything. The, and I feel like he couldn't say anything because he had been paid. You're mm -hmm. right. You're right. And I feel like the birther stuff, though, kind of laid the foundation for who he who who absolutely. Donald Trump would become, um, the platform that he would run upon, which was racism. It, it absolutely worked. It, it worked four it, years later. Yeah. It absolutely worked. Yeah. But I also want you to understand that his you're so white, his supposed privilege, like you don't understand. He has been walking around New York like his shit doesn't stink. It's who he's yeah. always been. You all yeah. don't know the Trump. I know the Trump. I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. This is him. You're right. He is horrible. He is racist. You have no idea how him and his father would not let blacks move into their residential homes that they had. You're right. And let's not forget about his whole ad in the paper about the Central Park Five calling for their murders. Have you guys seen the picture of him Him and his parents with the K, with the, um, the, the head of KKK? No. Is that daddy in it? Yeah. Yeah. My God. Uh, you never seen that picture? Mm-mm. Uh -huh. I mean, but the, the simple fact that he and Trump is so against um, immigrants, if you really look at his family history, because my mother tracked it, mm -hmm. he was German. Yeah. yeah. Right. He has German, and I think he has maybe, and he has a fetish for Russians or people over in the chat. He has a fetish for them. Yeah. No, like, I, <laughs> I know, I was like, mm. <laughs> You knew where I was going. <laughs> Which is why I think if he loses this election in November, you know, you guys, I've always said I see him walking out of office, right? Of course, I expected it to be within the first six months. And so when it didn't happen, I was like, spirit, what are you? I think if he loses this election, he's mm -hmm. going to go. He's going to walk out as predicted. I don't think he's going to stay till February. I think he's going to Russia. I believe Because it. he's got a fetish for Russians. Which mm -hmm. is why he's trying to build this hotel, which is why he's probably trying to steal money from this stimulus package that came out. They still don't know yeah. what happened with that money. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Right? I know. Ugh. So let's talk about his protected tweet, the tweets that they chose to, that Twitter finally put their foot down on. Okay, so I have it here, and it says, um, quote, first tweet. Um, I can't, I can't stand back and watch this happen to a great American city, Minneapolis. A total lack of leadership. Either they, either the very weak radical left mayor, Jacob Fry, get his act together or bring, and that's, a, listen, it is, I'm reading it exactly how it's written. Okay. Poor grammar. And, it's get, get his act together and bring the city under control or I will send in the National Guard and get the job done Right. These thugs in caps, thugs in caps, are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd, and I won't let that happen. Just spoke to Governor Tim Waltz and told him that the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty, and we will assume control, but when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Thank you. Okay, let me bring this point. He mentioned thugs, mm -hmm. but when those fools went to my state capital with the guns mm -hmm. my mayor my governor he ain't called them thugs nope he called them right people exactly good people the good people want to get haircuts <laughs> so there's a stark difference right now you want to call those people that is stealing capitals with guns and crap because they want to get their hair cut and go and shopping. And you, want people, you want to call people thugs that's protesting against a, a, a murder. With signs, with paper in their hands. Right. Not guns, not machine guns, and all this ammo wrapped around them with paper. Yeah. Exactly. No. I'm looking at them more now. Yeah. Here's the thing. The thing is, I had a whole bunch, a series of issues with that, with those, with those couple of tweets that Twitter protected. 
But my biggest issue, of course, is when the looting starts, the shooting starts, which is, I think, a quote from Governor Wallace <laughs> from Alabama, <laughs> who was like a racist governor. If you know anything about, if you've ever seen the, uh, the movie Four Little Girls or you know anything about Governor Wallace and that whole era, yeah. he's also the one that said segregation now, segregation but forever, something like that. He, I, it's a very famous quote. Um, and so... I don't, I, why, why? Because he wanted to incite fear and his authority. And But why would Twitter choose to protect that instead of just deleting an account? Yes. Oh, right. Just delete the account. Yes. Be done. Yes. I think you can people off of Twitter for less. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I got on time out. Twitter because I said something to somebody that they should Kevin Hart should kick your ass like I said something like that mm -hmm. and he put me on time out for 12 hours I was like oh wow. yeah okay I don't like Twitter so if you want to delete me go ahead but I was just shocked like I, it wasn't a threat I said somebody had said something derogatory to Kevin Hart and I was like they should kick your ass yeah. Exactly. But he could, he could say, do you have that part where he literally talked about, because that's also a famous quote, that later he said, I don't know where I got that from. It's always just been around. It's always been said. Yes, it's been said around white folks. Do you have that? Do you want me to say it? Yeah, because I... Hold on, let me find Go it. for it. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Because it upset me so bad because... I'm older, right, guys? So I come from a different place. I hate saying I'm older, yeah. by the way. I hate that. All right. That's okay. <laughs> Don't say it anymore. <laughs> I won't. Any difficulty, and we will assume control. But when the looting starts, the shooting yep. starts. That's George Wallace. Mm -hmm. That's Governor Wallace. amongst mm -hmm. them. Mm-hmm against minorities. But here's what I yeah. find interesting. When you call someone a thug, why hasn't any of those 17-year-olds that shot up that school of babies, yeah. shot up a movie theater, yeah. why does you. everyone forget that today African-Americans are pissed? Yeah. But we're terrorists. But you mm, don't right. call the white teenager a terrorist? Nope. And some of those right. teenagers killed their mother on the way out to shoot up a school. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then when they got caught, they put a bulletproof vest on them. Okay. They're taking the and They're protected. They're protected. By eating them Burger King on their way to jail. Right. What? And barely handcuffed. Which one was that, Dylan? He was barely handcuffed. Yeah. 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 It's almost like when a crime is committed, like it's almost like you could play guess the race a little bit. Like, you know, I don't even have to see the picture. I just be like, okay, I just need to hear the news story and I'm like, uh, oh, white. Just so based on our treatment. As soon as a crime is committed, I'm like you, Debbie. As soon as a crime is committed, and they say, "Oh, he had a history of mental illness," white. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. He was a loner. White. He had a bad <laughs> upbringing, or they show the adorable high school picture of him. Right. Not the right. crazed murderer right. he had become. Right. And then yeah. They show the yeah. nice high school picture with the part, and then they talk to yeah. the friends, and they go. We never suspected. You have to suspect <laughs> crazy. Crazy exactly. doesn't hide itself. Of okay. course not. Mm -hmm. Crazy never hides itself. I have told Again. my son. I'm like, listen, 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 young man. When crazy shows up, get out. Now you and I are not yep. going to talk about what crazy looks like to you. It's a feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's that? What's that saying? When you see crazy coming across the street. <laughs> <laughs> you included your crazy friends, which means you don't get in the backseat of a car of a guy that in in private you 
guys are like, man, he's crazy. You don't get in the back seat of crazy. Right. But, you know, it, when it comes back to this, they defend them each other. Yeah. If they defend tweets right. for fact check. Yeah. Something so stupid as tweets. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. They defend each other. And I even yeah. had a conversation with one of my Facebook friends today. And it was sad. Like, my heart was hurting because I know these people. I've known them for years. Mm -hmm. but they don't know that I know that they're clueless. Mm -hmm. I know they love me. I know I'm the one black. I know this. And so something came about today and I was like, no, I'm not explaining it anymore. I was like, this is the test. The test is right now. And you see your post littered with stuff. And if you can't get it today, I'm out. I'm not explaining it to you. And she we'll see, that's hold on, Desi. And she I found another post okay. of that little girl. I think her name is Tamika Mallory. Have you guys seen mm -hmm. her? Yeah. I know her name is Tamika. Tamika Mallory or something like that. I'm just amazed by her. I might play it, but she found that post on Facebook. And then in a mm -hmm. comment, she was like, got it. And yeah. so I, then I said to her, then I gave her a long spiel. And she said, and I really love that she said this. She's like, you don't have to keep explaining. She's like, it's my job. I was going to say that. I, I don't oh, think it's your job to explain to any to anybody. Right. It's I not right. If you can't see now, mm -hmm. they're talking about shootings that happened, what, six years ago? Mm -hmm. 2020, you can't see now? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's not your responsibility to explain white privilege to people who are, are just never going to get it. And I definitely wouldn't be doing that without a check. Just saying. They're not paying you to explain anything to them. Just like they can go and Google, they can go read a book, they can go watch the news. That's not your responsibility. Yes. Period. I agree. Yeah. I'm with you. I want to find They play, they pay you know, less than them to explain the privilege to them. They don't pay you for that. So don't do that. I'm not. Just saying. I'm not. It's not what I'm I'm not. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with you acting, acting mm -hmm. ignorant. I'm okay with that. Because you know damn well what you're doing. And I'm not saying this person, this person found someplace inside of her yeah. to, to get it for me. And I was, I loved that. I was like, oh my God. Whew. Like it just made me yeah. feel good. But I got other people, you know, that want to play stupid. Always. Of course. Well, I just hope that Jack Dorsey... I hope that Mark Zuckerberg, not that I, you know, have any faith in that system, but like I hope that he will also follow suit on Facebook mm -hmm. in a way that and sort of get the ball rolling in the way. I, I don't feel like this is a, it's a start to a solution. I don't think it's a complete solution as far as fact checking goes, because truth be told, a lot of these people just need their accounts deleted. They just need to be watched. Uh -huh. But also, Desi, because this is a revolution, mm -hmm. it is, Twitter doesn't have to stand. Yeah. That's a good point. None of this has to stand. If you let these kids create a whole new Twitter, Facebook, Instagram system, mm -hmm. all of this fails. Just yeah. wait. These kids are way too smart. You're right. Uh -huh. Let me play this real quick. Okay. Hope it's loud enough. This is Tamika. I believe her name is Tamika Maha. Oh, yeah.
the truth. Yep. <laughs> and you know what, like, really strikes me from all of that is how grounded she was. Yeah. Like, she was like, this is truth. Mm-hmm. She didn't stutter. She didn't, like, she just delivered it with all of the power she had inside of her. And it didn't feel like a performance. It didn't feel like performative anger and frustration. It felt like genuine heartfelt. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I love her. I didn't know what her name was. But thank you. So I, I kept seeing that all over the timeline. And I was like, oh, this is just so good. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Okay. So. Should we talk about this YouTuber? Was adopted. The YouTuber who gave back her adopted baby after making money off of him. It's a damn channel. Like, right. it's disgusting, really. Oh, so, okay. Well, just let me say this. YouTube, about a year ago, put out its feelers to all YouTubers, and they said... You know, if you're making videos for children, but it was a little convoluted. I didn't understand it because I don't make videos for children. I sometimes have my grandson in the video. And they said, if you're making videos for children, you can no longer make money from it. Well, that kills a whole industry. Yeah. Like, who is that cute little Ryan kid? Oh, my God. Right. They made a mint because his followers were in the millions. Right. And when you go to Walmart, he's got posters. And my grandson is like, Ma, uh, Grandma, that's, you know, Ryan, and he wants to get whatever is in that box that Walmart is selling. Right. This industry with babies was a mint maker. Yeah. I wish I would have had a baby at the time. But look, she had a series right. of videos. See how they take advantage. Yes. <laughs> She had a series of videos detailing the adoption process. And she even, and then afterwards she had videos of of him, like, you know, kind of getting acclimated to the family and those sorts of things. And they made so much money off of those those adoption videos and off of those videos of him, you know, of welcoming him to the family, only to say that he has, you know, severe needs and then to sort of, well, the words that Buzzfeed, the word that Buzzfeed used was rehomed, like he was an adopted dog. But after they, say it again. They threw him away. They did. They threw him away. They used him and they threw him away. Yes. And her name is Vita, or I think it's Vita Stosser. And she and her family were making so much money off of YouTube. We're making money off of YouTube. We're making money off of this little boy. And once he was deemed no longer useful, then all of a sudden he had his problems were too severe. Mm-hmm. I saw a video today where like it like broke down that whole situation. And she claimed when she was going through when she and her husband were like thinking about adopting, she wanted a child that was special needs. Yeah. She purposely wanted a child. It, it's in a video. She purposely wanted a child. Then she went, and I don't know what the process is, but she went and met up with the child. They 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 went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, you know, this this child has X and Y Z problems. And she took out another video and was like, I don't care. This is my child. Come months later, and the child's gone. Yeah. <laughs> What? Oh. And she has two channels, by the way, that she makes money from. Mm-hmm. One about just family and one that's like her personal one. Mm. Mess. I just think that, does she have her own child? Because by the time I tried to look for the videos, a lot of the videos were gone. And I only see mm-hmm. this other child. And I'm like, did another child come through and that's why she doesn't want she to has- has four child, four children, and she got pregnant after she adopted um, this little boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe that. I just. It just sounds like 
It sounds like she is very similar to Azealia Banks. She just comes across mm -hmm. pretty. Um, it sounds like the same sickness. And it sounds a little bit like, um, I'm not diagnosing her, but like, like on the, on the lines of Munchausen, like you're using the child as an excuse to get attention. But with Munchausen, mm -hmm. you make, you literally make the child sick. Right. So that the doctors would be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with the child. And she's like, yeah, there is. And, and then everybody's comforting her. It feels like that. I don't know what the kind of diagnosis that is because I'm not a psychologist. But it definitely right. feels like she used social media mm -hmm. to use a child that did not belong to her. Right. And with people like that, kind of like Azalea, what happens off camera? Ooh. What happens really? off camera that you then have to say that this child's out of control? Right. Because I don't like people that have this perfect image. I don't trust mm -hmm. you when right. you have a perfect image. I, I think she's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And Agreed. she just falls in the category of people that constantly support, you know, oh. each other. That's the category well, she's in for me. Same. And I also feel like she, the ad revenue, and I said this yesterday, but I, I'm saying it officially now, she should definitely give back the ad revenue that she made off of that boy mm -hmm. and exploiting him. All of the ad, all of the, the money that she made for clicks and views and ads and yeah. Google AdSense and all the things, give that money back. Either donate it or give it to the family that took him. It's in the hundreds of thousands monthly. That's crazy. No, uh, she was in a category, you know, one, if she got this kid, if she had her channel years ago, they didn't change the algorithms. They changed the algorithms for newer people. Mm -hmm. And if you get anywhere, one of the videos, I thought I saw 2.9 million views. Oh that's, that's hundreds of thousands of a check. If it's not, if she gets like something like 200,000 views, well, that's around $2,000. Yeah. A month, also, what sponsorships? Does she not have? yearly, monthly. Yeah. And she did have sponsorships because she had a huge following of like mothers and I don't know. Don't quote me. I just saw the video today, but she might have had like Huggies or something. Like, see something ridiculous like that. It's crazy. If I find out that Huggies sponsored her, I will write them a letter. Now, that's the one thing I will do. I'm a big writer on creating effects. Mm -hmm. Let me find out that Huggies supported her. Yeah. I will be pissed. Or anybody else for that matter. I mean, to be fair, they were duped. They didn't know. That's well, true. That's fine. I don't care if they were duped. I'm going to inform them. So you yeah. were duped. But you need to be watching out next time. Because yeah. what they right. did is protect each other. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's plenty of babies that could have used the money for yeah. parents. No. For their cute little baby. Mm -hmm. But she's playing a whole privilege thing. And that's not right. And that's what bothers me. This whole, like, perfected look. Like, I watched in one of her videos, her and her husband was, like, putting, like, cleaning, putting books back in the cabinet. And I was like, why is her hair perfect? <laughs> Four kids. Four kids. Why is your hair perfect? Because you're pretending. Mm -hmm. All right, Desi. I'm over her. It's that Pantene sponsorship. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's head and shoulders. Head and shoulders sponsorship. Yeah. All right. So the last thing that we're going to talk about is everybody's 
favorite man in dementia, Joe Biden, <laughs> has, has decided to post on. <laughs> Everybody's favorite dementia patient, uh, Joe Biden, has postponed his VP pick until August. And we are going to go yesterday to my to my co-worker. Say it again. I said that to my co-worker yesterday. I said he has until like September, October to choose. He has to choose quick. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. No, no worries. Um, but wait, he said, said, he said June. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. He, but said, I, he said June. And then June is tomorrow. But yeah. the riots just came. Amy Klobuchar mm -hmm. is in the middle of all of this riot stuff. She's from Minnesota. She has been a DA that let this cop go on several complaints, even for one guy that he was shot in the stomach, and Amy did not see it being a problem, so she did not even look at the case enough to say that there was a problem. So nope. it's within this same week that Biden goes, uh, August 1st. I was like, no! No! <laughs> no! Yeah. I know. Not August 1st. Because it makes me wonder now if it's August 1st and he's going to make the announcement, do they see the summer as hot? Oh, ooh. Ooh. The best year. You gotta read between the lines. That's where I go. I always go. He said June. Yeah. The week of the riots, uh, Biden will announce August first. What? Right. What are they waiting for? Does that mean that the riots ruined? Mm. Right, Callie? Or did, did the riots ruin something? All right. Mm -hmm. what we okay, so we're going to listen. The question is, will Michelle Obama swoop down and save the day? Will she be his VP pick? Well, Michelle Obama be Joe Biden's VP pick. I'm scared. I am too. <laughs> Can we do a backstory as to why we're actually asking this question? Can I do the yes. backstory? Okay, so the backstory is Yemi. In my tarot class, who's a newbie, and she's learning, and she's trying to figure out what spirituality is trying to communicate with her, and in what direction, and what does it mean when it comes up, and Yemi, what were you watching? You were watching something, and she contacted me, like, almost in a panic. So what were you, <laughs> what, what happened? Well, I think it's good to say that we had already did this we had already asked this question. And at the time we were only working with like the cards that we had been reviewing in class. Mm. And the question was, will Obama be back in office? We asked that question and in class. In class. Oh. And, or some like, will Obama be back in office? I think that was the question. Okay. And I didn't see, I had all these, like I, I saw just women energy yeah. in the cards that I pulled and I just didn't understand what it was. Yes. And we were watching the debate between um, him and uh, Biden and Bernie. And when he said that he was gonna choose a woman VP, I was like, I knew it, I, I, I like freaked out. I was, I was like, did you just see what he said? Because it, we were asking, like we asked like Obama in general, but I didn't see that. I saw a woman and when I saw that, I thought it's Michelle Obama. That's what I thought. Like I was just like, oh my God, he's gonna. 
a woman, and he was very like, no one had said that. We were just, I was just watching it casually, and he was like, and I will choose a woman VP. And I was just like, oh my God, what's happening? When you get that hit, it's like, I get it, I get it. So then you contacted me. And by the I texted way, you like immediately. You, I was upset. You don't know me. <laughs> I was upset because I need to be right. Mm-hmm. I need to be right. And so I'm wondering if when we did it, like, did I influence everyone because I need to be right? Like, I really worry about that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm the teacher, and am I doing right by you guys, right? I need to be right. And so when you came and you were like, Tracy, I I think it's going to be Michelle. And I'm like, like, I was like you now. I was like, oh, spirit, did I miss it? Did I miss it? Well, I didn't quite <laughs> miss it, Yemi. I didn't miss it. So I said Obama. Well, I think we were all talking about Obama, and I just was looking at my cards, and I was like, these are just women. Like, I just see women in my cards. I don't think, I didn't understand, and I don't, I remember that I didn't say anything when everybody was sharing their cards, because I just, like, I was just so confused. I was like, I don't know if I see, I don't know. Like, I was just, like, and that was, like, weeks after we had done that, and I think he did the debate. And I was like, oh my God, what? Ever since then, I've been panicking. Ever since then. Me too. Right? I'm like, oh my God. And it's really important that when I tell the public I predicted it, it's really important that I did it. Me. Not, (laughs) yeah. So I couldn't read on it. That's a legal thing. (laughs) Right. I, I couldn't read on it. Because I'm not a fake or a phony, and I'm not going to, you know, slightly askew the truth. I can't do that. So it's been troubling me for weeks, Yemi. You didn't know this, but it's been troubling me for weeks. And I'm like, i got to do a reading on this. And then the view from the other side came along, and I'm like, oh, I can just invite Yemi on. Yes. And, and now we could really look at it. But well. I wanted to make sure that if that ever happens... Yemi saw it first. But now I just want to look at it. No pressure either, geez. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were going to come on. I'm like, hey, so do you want to come on? And, oh, my God. When she said, fuck it. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh I, didn't, I didn't expect that. I was like, those were I waited a little bit. I was like, fuck it. Let's just do it. I love that. Let's just do it. All right, who wants to go first? I haven't looked at my cards yet. Um, I'll go first. Go for it. So, okay, I have two different spreads, so I'm going to be looking at, like, back and forth. Um, two different decks, kind of the same message. One is Joe, I think. One is the overall situation. I think this Klobuchar thing has thrown him for a major loop. And I think now he's forced to sort of make some decisions. He's, I mean, like some serious decisions. I think that was his choice um, initially, but I think he's disappointed and hurt. Uh, And I think it's keeping him up at night. And I think he... He feels like he kind of screwed himself over by even suggesting that Klobuchar be, you know, would be a viable person. So now he has to make, he's got some decisions to make. He's deciding between two other people. One is not her, Klobuchar. Um, I think he kind of feels like his hands are tied a little bit. Um as far as it goes, it kind of feels like he's like, okay, whatever, but whatever decision I make, somebody's not going to be happy. And I don't want to put myself into a position where everything I do was called into question because of my choice. Uh, as far as Michelle goes, nah, I don't see her here, at least in my spread. And here, but I do, I see her, but I don't see her. I don't see her as the VP pick. However, I see her as this looming figure in the back. So,
sort of calling shots. Because I think ultimately she sees Joe as a child. <laughs> He's too impetuous. He's too much of a spitfire. He says too many crazy things. I think she sees the White House as a burden. Mm-hmm. I think she's happy to have walked away. And I think she wants to enjoy her family and enjoy, you know, I think the White House was too much of a burden for her. I think I see her as being more of a back a backup, as somebody that's kind of calling, pulling strings, but not pulling strings. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like not not calling shots in any real official authoritative way, but just kind of, you know, suggesting. Like, hey, Joe, maybe you should maybe do this. Or, hey, maybe you should probably do this. Uh, but I don't see her taking a direct, a direct leadership role like VP. I think he's still deciding between two people. I don't. And I think, uh, but I do see her as helping him with that decision. I think she's in his ear a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, almost like parent to a child. Yeah. Um, she comes across as a strength card to me. Yeah, she she tames the she tames the impetuousness of of Joe, right? She kind of tempers him down. He go, he wants to he wants to go charge in. And she's just like, mm, she's taming the beast. Like, mm, maybe can we not? Can we not? Yeah. She's like holding um, his hand. Like, ah, yeah, yeah, hand. yeah, yeah. She, uh, it's kind of a, a George W. kind of energy. Like her friendship with him, where it's like, okay, I know he's 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 a, he's a child, yeah, yeah. right? He's a child, so I have to kind of treat him like this and. You know, he listens to me, so I'll say this, and maybe I'll plant the seed, and maybe he'll go for it. But as far as her being his VP pick, yes and no. Would he absolutely go for her if he had the chance? Absolutely. He would choose her tomorrow. But I don't see her stepping forward. I think it's too much. I think she's happy to be rid of of the nonsense of that, cause of, 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 of the presidency and, and what surrounds it. So. Go, go, you hit almost my entire spread. <laughs> you hit almost my entire spread. He already, I had the Ace of Cups. He already made a decision and he was happy with his decision. But then I got the Five of Pentacles crossing, and that means he. It was a sense of loss. So I think this is Amy. He had chose her. And then things things got ripped from up under him. So he had to re-evaluate because I got the sick of sorts below. So he's going to move away from the st- people with negative behaviors and destructive behaviors. So he's moving away from Amy. He has no choice but to move away from Amy and move with someone else. Michelle is very happy with her family. She's happy with what she's doing. She's good. And then I got the nine of wands that's crowning. He's feeling exhausted. He feels a little bit beat up. No, that's not him. Michelle's life in the White House left her exhausted and beat up. Mm-hmm. There's no way she's yeah. she ain't come. She and if she does go back, I mean, even bringing up that administration and the idea of her being any way, shape, or form involved in the White House, it, it triggers her. Is a trigger moment for her. Mm-hmm. It's like she goes down the black hole and she's trying not to go down that black hole no more. So she's happy with her family. I have the five of cups in the future position. Uh, he said that he can't choose Michelle. 
he said that he can't, and I'm not, you know, trying to make my reading into Desi's, but. No, no, no. Okay. Same energies. Yeah, he said, he said that he can't choose Michelle, and he said that he has to move away from Amy because he had initially chose her. Because she's, because she's going to win the Midwest for him. She's going to win that Rust Belt for him. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Okay. Now he has to figure out who is going to um, pretty much save him. Because I got the two of cups. He will be partnering up with somebody that's like a, almost a better match for him. It's like where he's weak, that person will be strong. It's like opposites attract. Mm -hmm. So he's going to probably pick somebody that's like slightly opposite of him. His environment is going towards, so this campaign has pulled back a little bit. This is a blow for them. Mm -hmm. they, they're pulling back and trying to reevaluate. They not have the hermit card and the hopes and fears, so they're definitely pulling back. They're pulling back and trying to reevaluate. And then I got the King of Cups. So he, is his campaign manager a dude? Could be. Could be. I get a man here too that's very prominent. Some yeah, because I got this in the cups, and I don't think it's Joe. It's somebody in his. I think it's somebody in his, in his campaign. That's that's, that's of being, yeah. you know, considerate, patient, and compassionate. It's he. It's a friend of his. So it's somebody that's close to him. That's like a personal friend, or somebody that's in his campaign that is trying to be there for him and help him. Hell. That's Obama. He's leaning on the, he, I think he's leaning on the Barack. Yeah. He's, he's leaning on the Obamas for um, strength and he's leaning on the Obamas for guidance because he could trust them. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think it's more so, I think in, in, in this instance is Barack. Because this is somebody that's compassionate and that cares, that really cares for him and have insight. But yeah, but she, 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 she'll be a fool if she um she became his VP because she will be triggered like hell. Yeah. She will have PTSD and it will be bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Callie. Guest of honor. Yummy. <laughs> All right, I was muted. I'm sad about it, but yeah, I I don't think that she I don't think she wants to go back. Um, I I mean I'm I'm a newbie, so be kind. <laughs> but uh, I actually got the uh, I have a ten of swords, and I I feel like he did have someone in mind too and was had to backpedal like no can't do this um and i what i what i see from the knight of swords uh, that i got um uh i feel like it's her i think you're right like i don't feel like she does not want to be anywhere near this white house like I honestly, like, I feel like this is her running to safety, honestly. Like, I, feel like <laughs> I love that. I can't do this. Um, mm -hmm. I do uh, think that she will help them. Like, I feel like I, I got this. I got the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like she's willing to help where she can. Like, I feel like she is very nurturing and is willing to give them a hand, but ultimately I don't I don't think it's her. I'm sad about it, but I don't think it's her. <laughs> All right. Listen to me. 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. Me too, because I can't believe that you all were saying the same thing. Um, so I pulled it again, and I'm like, Spirit, what's happening here? All right. I'm going to just go kind of like card by card. I see the Page of Swords is having an immature decision, like not doing enough background check, like maybe believing that whoever he was going to announce in June, he was choosing that person based upon friendship. That I do believe, all right? But I mm -hmm. also believe it was a toss-up, right? Thank God he did not make this decision before the riot started. Um, the question is, could it be Michelle Obama? I'm getting victory. I'm getting wow. a game changer. I'm getting the fool. We're all going to be like, what? I'm getting the choices coming because of a man. All right? So that might be that campaign manager. I'm also getting that the choice might come maybe after a second round of COVID, right? Mm -hmm. I get a resounding yes. Right? But I also get, do they have to feed her something? Like, what do they have to give her for her to decide to make this decision? Like, what does she, like, why would she have to do this? Like, why? Like, it, it's going to be such a ridiculous reason that they're going to be like, we'll give you this. And I, it's not monetary. It's nothing money. Right? This is her in contemplation. Mm. Maybe regret. Maybe saying yes and later regretting it. So then I pulled it again. I'm like, spirit. Because if I got the opposite, then I would say, okay, I'm confused. It's my wants and desires more than anything. Right? So I pulled it again. The first card I got up got was the seven of swords. So this is a very sneaky card. They really need to win. Like, it's, I really, really need to win. And so now, they're kind of pulling out things that normally, as Democrats, they would never show, show their hand. But now they're going to have to show their hand. And I don't think they're going to survive till August, right? Um, I got Sacrifice, the hangman. I got Planting a Seed, like, really, like, getting inside her head. I got, nope, 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 as my fourth position. Nope, nope, nope. Then I got the magician. And is, is she that person then? Like, we know Biden's not. Is she, right? Mm -hmm. I think they're getting inside her head. I think it's going to work. I think she might have to sacrifice everything she's never wanted to get invested in again. And I, okay, so I think they make the announcement. Everyone's elated. And then she shows up again in my number eight position. So in my number four position, she's like, am I doing it right? Can you guys tell which one is, which one is no? This yeah. one or this one? That one, that this one. one. This one is no. So this yeah. is my number four position. She's like, no, no, no. And now she's facing it and facing the drama, right? Is mm -hmm. she going to have regret? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. She's going to be like, oh, my God, what is happening? Oh, my God. And then I got the four pentacles. And I'm not sure what the four pentacles mean. Well, okay, if I look at, okay, if I just go by my impression, it means she's going to maintain status quo. She's going to figure out a way to step in and not be so dramatic. Like she's going to step in and be the Michelle we've always known. That she's not coming to save the day. She's coming to stand next to Joe. But I don't know, guys. This is probably. No, my mind is blown. I know. I'm looking at my cards again, and I'm like, did I, did I not? Because I, you know, I get the ten of swords, and the ten of swords is not like the best 
you know, and I got it crowning, but it almost like the more you talk, the more like, is this her? And she regrets, she'll regret it. Like she'll, it's like, she's walking into something and it looks beautiful, right? Like this horizon and it looks beautiful, but this is not a very good card. Like, yeah. is she going to regret it if, if that is the case? I mean, listen, I think- I got the whole card too. I got the full card crossing my nine of wands, which is why I thought, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I don't, like it's, I see the nine of wands as like, I'm standing firm in my position and maybe that's her, maybe the nine of wands is her initial resistance and then the oh. move for taking the plunge. If we really think outside the box, then what if nine of wands are the kids that are protesting that is not pulling back? Like who can take who can pull that rein in? I mean, Biden's just another white guy. Are they gonna listen yeah. to him? Like that's the resistance. Like, are they gonna say, Trump, Biden, what does it matter? So can someone other than that white guy that has ruined it for these kids, ruined it? Like, mm -hmm. who's the mother? Who's the mother? Who's the, who's the mom? Who's capable of that? Uh, no, I can't stop. Now, and I got this too as my future card, which is the two of pentacles. Which means as like, like, I'm going to balance this out. I'm balancing these out. Uh, but I... I think I just get a no because I don't think that she really wants this. I don't, I don't think, I don't, I think that's why I get like, I, that's why I keep looking at this nine of swords thinking like, I don't really want to be here. Like I'm out, like I want out, what but I get it nine of swords? in my environment, what's around me, my eight position. I don't know it's hard of running from or running to. So in that deck, it's kind of hard, but it's, I have more curiosity about the Ten of Swords. I just want to see. Yeah, I have my book out. Let me look. Oh man. I mean, guys, maybe I'm pushing the envelope. Maybe it's my wants and wishes. Like, you know, every once I know my car I will do more time based upon what I want. And I don't mean to destruct spirit. And I could be well, destroying I spirit. Well, it could also be a mixture of all of this because, again, we're just reading energies. Yeah. And who's to say that this isn't this isn't like a back and forth kind of energy? Yeah. Where it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's just energy. Yeah, because I got a my cards the way my cards have been running lately. They're more like current energy. This is like what's happening like now. Now, right? Yeah. Cause that's what I got yesterday and the day before. It's like boom. This is this is the energy now. Maybe yeah. that's why he couldn't make a decision. Yeah. Maybe that's why he pushed it back. And maybe they're going back in and going, girl. The kids need you. But yeah, right. if you look at the ten of swords, and if you look at the people. And I'm going to look at the Nine of Wands real quick. Nine of Wands. Mm. I mean, I'm not I can see her being that, like, I'm not going to budge. I could totally see that with the Nine of Wands. Like, I'm not. Yeah. Like to me, it's like you must think I'm a fool to to move. Like I'm not I'm not doing anything. Yeah. 
And I, I got the Six of Cups too, like in my past position, which made me feel like, I don't know if this is something that she wants. Like, I don't know, like maybe she does want to be with family and she wants to surround herself with that. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, I don't, I don't think that she would be happy there. And I pulled out three cards too, just just because I didn't want to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I got the King of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Ooh. And if I'm looking at past, present, future, this is the present. Like she is just feeling like bound and just like it's terrible and then I and then I also and when I see this as my future my four of swords I feel like like her heart is on her sleeve like she has her heart open up for people Like if she's guarding herself. Yeah. Listen, I don't know. It's I listen, let's call it I I believe it's my wants and wishes. And maybe because I want it so badly. Same. I'm okay with being wrong. Yeah. Like I said, it could just be the energy. It's just, that's it. We're just picking up energies. And those are always subject to change mm -hmm. at any moment. And energy, depending on. Energy could change because I just feel like, I, I feel like we're going to have a hot summer. Mm. And who's going to quiet that summer down? Like, who's, who can do that? Right. Racist Trump or another white man that has dementia, like like you point out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna quiet him down? And Katie Couric, I read on, um, I think I was complaining to you, Desi, who was like, "Hey, would anybody like to hear from um, Obama or maybe George Bush together?" And she didn't even take credit for it. She's like, "A friend asked this question." And I text her, and I was like, you're so white. <laughs> you, want a, you want a black man to say mm. y'all's asses? No. Stop asking Obama to show up when y'all didn't support him for eight right. years. That's true. So I just feel like it's going to come down to... There's no one to talk to these kids. And if there's no, like literally no one to talk to these kids, might she sacrifice? But is she gonna be happy? Absolutely not. And in a way, this person, if she does come in, this person, this person is this person. Well, I'm trying to figure out. In any case, I feel like she might do it, but not be happy. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you hate to see it. Really? You guys can have me back again before August, before he chooses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just double, triple check just in case I'm going to use energy for now. <laughs> oh my God. We might have to do a follow up. It's, this prediction be continued for okay. sure. Absolutely. He's not going to make his decision to August 1st. Let, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the energy just changed this week. The energy got hot. It's like hot. It will not die down. These kids are going to burn down like three parts of every city to be found. Let's look at it again mid-July. Okay. okay. I 
I think what we all might be feeling is no, no, no. And I think as we get closer to meeting a healthy person, and I can't believe he was thinking about Gorbachev. Yes. That's a white thing, by the way. That's like, hey, mm -hmm. I know you for years. That's, that's yeah. what that is. She is a horrible woman. Horrible. And you Did know it makes sense because she was crying last night. Did you, anybody see the interview? On CNN? She With her? She was no. crying. She was like, voice was choked up, trying to like st be stable. She's responsible solely for this. 19 times yeah. this man went up against her. Yeah. And then they asked her a very specific question about her career and having met this guy before and not doing anything. And she mm -hmm. goes, this is not the time to discuss politics. Oh, it's not? Now's not the time? Oh, I did see that. Mm -hmm. I did see that, now that you said that. You're a All of a sudden, we discuss politics. Yeah. yeah. What? And she was rambling on before she said that. Yeah. She was trying to deflect and kind of, you know, diffuse and kind of say other things. And it was like, stop talking. We know you're tricking people. Stop. And then he pushed it. She was like, this is not the time to discuss. Yeah. And I was like, and her voice was cracking. And I was like, what happened? So maybe what happened now that I can see for you guys is that maybe she was going to be the chosen one, you racist coward. No. And they called her ass on the carpet. They called yeah. her ass on the carpet. And what if the kids, what if the kids stop this? Like, you've got to give these kids some credit. I know that they are saying that there are infiltrators going mm -hmm. in and they're the ones that's really bombing because protesters, where do they really find bombs at? That's an organization right. that knows to bring that stuff in to burn down a precinct, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I know that there are infiltrators. I'm just wondering, like, I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of the Democrats. I don't like the Republicans. Like, if these kids are protesting, is somebody saying, oh, this is the perfect time? This is perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's make it worse than it is. Mm -hmm. Operatives, operatives, get in there. Cover up in all black. Wear like a face mask so no one can tell that there's white skin underneath. Because there are mm -hmm. people that are not of color. Right. That is and I posted a video where this one guy walked around following this white guy with a pizza box. And he finally turned around, and the guy was like, he was like, he's going to fight him. He's like, oh, you're going to fight me? The guy never let go of the pizza, pizza box. There's a ladder. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Who sent that to us? I think Erica sent it. It, it. it was a hot and ready. Wow. <laughs> it was a little season hot and ready. I was like, he ain't letting the hot and ready go. Damn. <laughs> that the guy that he confronted, the one with the mask, he's a cop. That's my point. Yes. I, I think the cops burned down their precinct. It's my understanding they took out all the records. I wow. think the cops burned down the precinct, not the protest. Just like they burned down that auto zone. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, guys, let's end the other side, the view from the other side of the table. It's okay to disagree. Yes. We are going to re readdress this. This is just the yes. beginning. So, Yemi, you have to come back. Yes. Yay. Thanks for having me today, ladies, by the way. Oh, we're glad to have you. Thank you. That was amazing. You so yeah. fit in. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm the fangirl. I'm like, oh, I got invited to like the live taping. <laughs> I'm the fangirl. <laughs> Moving forward, if this shows to be successful, 
I would definitely like to have topics, a reading on a really important, you know, problem of the day, and to have maybe someone come in and do mm -hmm. a, uh, a live reading on it. Yeah. All right. Great idea. Thank you. I love that. Thank you. Well, we want to give back to the people. And free readings are, you know, part of giving back. Um, I do want to mention one last thing. Wendy Williams. She is in the hospital, supposedly from another YouTuber, having had committed, you know, something. I'm not going to repeat it under mm -hmm. neurological care. I'm going to state right now, I don't believe it. I think this other YouTuber uh, talked to her husband and her husband got $12 million and now he doesn't mm -hmm. care how he ruins her. Yeah. I honestly believe she is having a neurological issue, not an overdose of any kind. Right. It's not fair because this YouTuber might have ruined her career. Yeah, and this YouTuber is extra mean spirited and choosing mm -hmm. to reveal that. She's horrible. She's a horrible young lady. And watch who you take down. Watch. Wendy is where she's at because she wasn't kind. Yeah. So YouTuber, you're doing the same thing as Wendy. Right. Good luck with that. Mm. I just wanted to point that out because I was I was appalled how mean she was. And this woman is in the hospital. And it doesn't yeah. matter. Like you don't need to be right, even if it is a suicide. You don't need to be right about that. Yeah. Mind your business. I don't think that's anything to report. I don't think that's anything to glorify. I don't think that's anything to celebrate. Like I don't think that's anything to bring up. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. She is in a hospital, but I've never known for a suicide turning to neurological care. It does not work that way. She has a medical issue, not neurological stuff, not, you know, whatever, overdose, whatever. I just didn't see drugs. Neither did you, Callie. No. No. Debbie didn't either. Yeah, none of us saw none of us saw a drug issue. None of us even saw this quote unquote suicide situation again. But energy shift either way. I don't. Even if I did see it, I don't think I would have brought that up. You wouldn't be. That's not that's to. ageless to bring up. Yeah. You wouldn't be allowed to. So sometimes spirit yeah. buys things from us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If spirit thinks you're the type of person that would let it slip, like spirit be like, okay, I'm not going to show you everything. Right. But four of us didn't see it? Six yeah. of us? Five of us? How many? Come on. Yeah, I think it's six of you guys, right? Yeah. Tasha. Yeah, I just, oh, I just mentioned her name. I'll try not to mention her name. She's despicable. Yeah. She's despicable. And be careful who you go after. The COVID is a beast. Uranus yeah. and Taurus is a beast. So is karma. So <laughs> Right. It's gonna get you too. Sooner or later it comes for everybody and it's gonna get you too karma for doing that. Come for me and when karma comes to me, I'm like, oh damn it. Okay. <laughs> damn. And I was karma is so doing quick wrong. in my life. Huh? Mm -mm. Karma is so quick in my life. I'm not messing around with that. Uh-uh. Here's the thing, is, if karma is quick in your life, because they're like, Don't you dare. You're you're we're not gonna <laughs> yeah. let you do like if karma is quick, it's a good thing. Oh, good. It is. I'm like, okay, I won't do it. <laughs> I always say it, and I'm going to say it here officially for that troll, whoever she is. Listen, karma may not come when you want her to, but she's always going to drop kick that ass. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that and her. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. None of us are mm -hmm. wishing it. You're walking nope. into it. That's two different things. Yep. All right. Let's mm -hmm. end this. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Yemi, thank you so, so much.
for being here today. You are fantastic. Aww. <laughs> it was such a pleasure and a privilege, and I had so much fun, ladies. I'm so glad. Thank you. Bye, Bye. friends. Bye. Bye. I know, we need an outro. Make up some music. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Let me know what you think. <laughs>